What's up, YouTube? This is Anthony's Reality, and I'm back with another phenomenal video. If this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if not, welcome back. Today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be telling you guys how I get waves. Right now, I just left the car wash or whatever. I am at Wally World. Um, I'm here to get the products that I need. I have most of them at home, but I just kind of came just to show y'all where y'all can get them from. Y'all get them from, obviously, Walmart, Target, uh, like y'all local hair store. Make has all the stuff that you need. Uh, basically, anywhere that they sell hair products, you can get these products. I'm at Walmart right now. I'm gonna go in Walmart and show you guys what products I use um, to get my waves, and we'll go from there. <laughs> So it took me a minute to find what I was looking for because I went to a different Walmart than I normally go to. So it took me a minute. But I'm going to show y'all what products I use um, to get my ways and kind of what I do to like train my hair to go in the direction that I want it to. Um, and then we will go from there. So this is the... Is it this one? This is the grease that I use now. Um, 360 style ways. This is what I put in my hair. You know, later on I'll show you guys. But we're just going to show you the product. So this is what I use here. I also used to use this one. I don't use this one as often. I like them both equally. So you can either use this one here, Sporting Ways red and black container, or you can use this one. Um, it is in the African American section in the store. Otherwise, if you go to like a Mid K or any, whatever your local hair store is, they'll have it. Um, and then like the shampoo and conditioner that I use in my hair is this one here. The moisturizing shampoo shea moisture and then this deep conditioner don't think that matters you can use whatever conditioner you want to use um, or any shampoo it doesn't matter what you use even if you use your own stuff um, but for the people who want to know the specifics that is the specifics of that and what i use purchase a do-rag i don't use like these do-rags here um, i actually go to make a our local hair store and purchase those um, but it's up to you where you get your do-rag from obviously walmart has them so remember where I got my brush from because that was some years ago um, but I will show you the brush that I have when I get home it's a double-sided brush um, and that's what I use and then we'll go from there so I'm home so I'm about to tell y'all I got good teeth with them thing right there one of them waves I need a haircut but I didn't go get a haircut so I can show y'all the process okay so I'm not about to do it because I don't feel like doing it but I'm going to tell y'all what I need to do like I said like I said to get 360 waves Okay, so to start off, let me just explain. I've had waves since as long as I can remember. Honestly, probably since I was seven, eight years old. Um, now I have grown out my hair after that and gone back to waves, but I've been, I've had waves for a really long time. And if you know me, you know I've had waves forever. So, <clears throat> when you get your hair cut, obviously there aren't waves in your hair. So what you're gonna do is when you get home, after you get your hair cut, or even if you don't get a haircut, you can start without getting a haircut. You're gonna walk, get in the shower and wash your hair. So when you get in the shower, you're gonna take your conditioner and your shampoo. I always wash my hair first with the shampoo and then add in the conditioner. But if your hair is long enough like mine, when you have the shampoo and conditioner in your hair, you're gonna comb through the conditioner and the shampoo in your hair. So you're gonna continue combing through or you can brush it through your hair. This is the brush that I was talking about that I have. It is double-sided. Um, this side is the hard side, and this side is the soft side. I can't tell you what brand. There's no name on it. Oh, I just don't lie. It's Ace. The brand is Ace. Um, I don't know. I've had this brush forever since I was like seven years old. Uh, so you're going to take the shampoo and conditioner, brush it through your hair, or comb it up to you. Um, and then you'll rinse it out, and then you can brush your hair again, flatten it out. What you're doing is you're training your hair to go in a certain direction. Um, so depending on what wave pattern you want, and I'll show some pictures, you know, here, 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 whatever. I'm gonna show some pictures. Whatever wave pattern you want, you have to brush your hair in that direction, okay? So when you get out the shower, now your hair's a little bit wet, just dry it off a little bit, don't dry it off completely. Then you're gonna add the grease, either this one, let me already see that. Uh, either this one, the 360 Styles, this is the one I use currently. Um, or you can do the Sporting Waves, the red and black one. Um, and put that in your hair, and then you're gonna brush your hair to get the grease in your hair so that goes in, you know, the wave pattern that you want it to. Now, with this, it depends on you and how you want your hair to be. Um, I just use probably, I only put enough grease to fit on my fingertip, 
because if I put a lot of grease in my hair, I just can't put a lot of grease in my hair because it lasts a long time. But if your hair soaks up grease, you might want to do a little bit more. But I use a small amount of this, like this. I've probably had this for probably four months, um, just because I use a small amount. And then I don't put it in my hair every day. I only do it probably once a week, maybe every three or four days, depending on how hot it is, how cold it is. Anyway, so after you put the grease in your hair and brush it in the way pattern that you want, you're gonna put your do-rag on. Okay. You're gonna put your do-rag on and then you're gonna go to sleep. I only wear my do-rag at night when I go to sleep. Sometimes during the day, but that's very, very rare. I would say every time that I've had waves, it takes me about three weeks for them to completely come in like they do here and in the picture shown here. Um, it takes about three weeks. I would say you should start seeing your waves come in at about a week and a half. Sometimes a little bit sooner. It just depends on your hair type and you know how, how well you're taking care of your hair. Me, my experience, by the time I hit three, four weeks, the waves are there, the pattern is there that I want, they're completely there, okay? So there is a little iffy stuff, but that is pretty much my wave routine. Um, if you guys have questions, list them in the comment below. Um, if you guys have questions, just go ahead and comment down below. I can definitely, you know, let me know if it worked for you, give me an update, give me something so I know that it only doesn't work for me. I'm pretty sure it won't, but we'll see. Thank you guys for tuning in for this video. I appreciate it. See you guys next week.